Health care advocates are urging lawmakers to take action to combat medical workforce shortages. Our New York State Capitol correspondent, Elise Klein, speaks to lawmakers and advocates about the impact of this issue. At a press conference this week, advocates urge lawmakers to address the state's medical workforce shortages. They're asking for permanent funding for recruitment and retention programs and educational and vocational pipeline programs. They're also asking for an increase in financial relief directed to upstate teaching and rural hospitals. Dr. Dennis P. McKenna from Albany Med says that hospitals are dealing with a staffing crisis and that it's critical for action to be taken to address this. And it's impeding our ability to focus on our mission because we don't have enough staff to take care of the patients who need our services. McKenna says that Albany Med is dependent on staffing agencies to, quote, fill the gap caused by what is called the Great Resignation, a record number of workers in the U.S. who resigned from their jobs in 2022. Staffing agencies help provide contracted nurses to hospitals and nursing homes. McKenna says the money Albany Med has to pay for this service is tremendous and not financially sustainable for them. Assemblymember John McDonald says hospitals and nursing homes sustainability will be a priority for the legislature. We know that we've got to put the proper resources in place and the proper tests in place, the proper uh, tools in place to help address this issue. New York State Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty says there are shortages in a variety of professions that the legislature plans on addressing. Well, and I do think that that's something that we should uh, look to do to make sure that we have enough um, uh, people in the different professions to provide the services that we need in the state. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.